Hey guys, Kigiru here for the Digital Dojos, and today I want to do a software review of a software called F.Lux, something I highly recommend to any power users out there, whether you're on Windows, Linux, or Mac. Uh, something I kind of download on each of my machines because it's a tool that you know really runs in the background, and you really don't remember or notice that it runs in the background because you gotta get so used to it. Uh, and it's a tool that I recommend to power users just because there's those days when you you know enthusiast or you know if you work on your computer a lot or if you're you know, there's just times when you're on it for, you know, a good amount of hours. There's times that you're on it for more than six hours, seven hours. Uh, and uh, I use my computer very frequently. And sometimes there's days when you get up to get a lot of work done. Or there's times where you're just on the computer pretty late. And, you know, whether it's six, seven, ten plus hours, which it, it is for me sometimes. Uh, software like this can really help you out in the long run. Uh, you know, they always tell you for monitor tips, you know, to adjust your monitor, adjust the brightness. And all that stuff is great for, you know, adjusting for, you know, health reasons and, you know, just kind of making it easier on your eyes and stuff so that you can, you know, obviously work productive and work longer and obviously not, like, screw up your vision or anything. But um, when there's software like this that automatically does it for you, it's kind of like, at first it's kind of, you know, hard to adjust to, but you really get used to it. And F.Lux, what it does, it's uh, adjusts your lighting and your uh, time of day and it automatically kind of dims your screen or... You know, adds that eerie glow to it, uh, you know, depending on the time shift. So it says your F.Lux fixes this. It says it makes the color of your computer's display adapt to the time of day, warm at night, and uh, like uh, sunlight during the day. So, yeah, you know, kind of warm, cold kind of uh, colors on your monitor. It says F.Lux makes your screen look like in the room, like the room you're in all the time. When the sun gets, when the sun sets, it makes your computer look like your indoors lighting, and in the morning, it makes it more look like it's the sunlight again. Uh, you can tell Flux this uh, basically where you live and then forget about it. Flux automatically does the rest automatically just runs in the background really low resources and runs really really well. So you can download it here for Mac, Windows or Vista or Mac or Windows or Linux and they have multiple you know Vista XP or 7. So it kind of covers everything uh, you know cross platform wise. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and drag you over to my other monitor where it runs over here in the corner. I know it's kind of split mode you guys can see this right here but uh here on my dual monitors here but if you can see right here in the bottom left for this little icon right here called flux and it says the flux settings and it shows when the current time and sunrise will be and it shows kind of where you are right now and your location latitude and longitude uh and if you're doing color sensitive work the great thing you can do here is disable it for one hour let's say you know you're editing a video you can do some color correction and sometimes when i'm editing video or or if I'm watching a movie, sometimes the colors are kind of off, you know, so I want the colors to be precise either, or if you're editing a photo or something, uh, times like that, I disable it for an hour, or disable it forever, how many, you know, time I need it. You can also right click here and disable it for an hour. You can change your location here through, you know, you can click locate and put in your location or put in the longitude and latitude. I'm in Japan, so that's kind of like Asia location, so it knows that and it gets the time of day. As you can see, 12 or 6 a.m. And I know you guys can't really tell, you won't be able to tell the colors from the video, but it's more something you have to see on your screen. Change the lighting, you can talk about whether you have, you know, fluorescent lighting, uh, what do you call that, or stuff like that, and uh, you can see here, so I can say fluorescent, halogen, or, you know, kind of mess around with these little sliders right here. And then you can change your transition speed, you know, as it transitions between the kind of colors, if you want, whether you want it to go kind of like, uh, you know, fast, if you want that switch to kind of go you know, from night to day pretty fast, or if you want to kind of slowly uh, transition into that, you know, warm set of color, you can do a 60 minute or 20 seconds, you know, depending on how you want your eyes to adjust, whether you want it to kind of slowly go or kind of, you know, all at once, just go ahead and switch pretty fast. And then, you know, it takes, it does take getting used to because the first time you use it, uh, the colors are going to look kind of weird to you, kind of yellowish tint. But after a while, trust me, guys, if you just leave this running for a couple of days, uh, you, you barely forget it's there, and it's much easier on the eyes. The whites aren't as bright in, at night and stuff like that, and it's, you know your computer screen isn't really blinding you. Uh, of course, you can still adjust the manual settings on your monitor, but Flux just does it automatically and uh, it adds that warm color that really it's soft on the software side that makes your uh, display much more easier to use and just makes you you know able to work much more uh, longer and much more efficient. So again, you can head over to the website over here at stereo. I guess you say is it stereo stereopsis. dot com slash flux, uh, or you get the software is f. lux. Better lighting for your computer. Do check it out. Highly recommend it if you're a power user or use your computer for more than, you know, 
multiple hours of the day. So do check it out uh, and you know, go ahead and help yourself. So, all right, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'd uh, love to hear software that you guys want me to review. You can leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.